Okay guys, this video is going to show you how to do what? Create your Facebook instant form if you want to run lead generation ads and you don't have a website. So you know this is a campaign, this is what the ad sets. So in the ad sets is where you select where you want to drive it and this is smartphone. Your conversion should go with what? Instant form. Instant form. All you have to do is to click on instant form. So once you've clicked on instant form, Mostly, if your uh, Facebook page is new, they will tell you to accept what some some like terms, and your page cannot run ads until you accept a certain terms and condition, which is what you do there. So, then you don't have anything to do here. You must have said this place. I will still do another video here. Then optimization for ad delivery should be leads. Optimization for ad delivery should be what leads. Then don't put anything in cost per results. Leave it empty. Then let's go now to create our Facebook instant form. You go back to leads, new lead. This now this is you are going to your ad sets. Go to your ad sets. Now we're in our ad sets. You can still do this on your phone, on your system. So now for you to create a leads form. Now, if you've not created before, they will ask you to create new form. I've created over three. So let me um, recreate again. So click on create form. Create form. So now here is where you will name the, your form. This is where you will name your form. Okay, this is where you name your form. Let's say it could be what if you are doing a web design class, say free web design class now you see that free web design class then form type you see the, what they'll ask you what more volume is a form that is quick to fill out and what submit on a mobile device higher intent add a review step that gives people a chance to confirm their info go with more volume so now you've added your form name the next thing you need to do is to do what come to intro Okay, this form name, form type, you have selected your form type. Now come to intro. So, they will ask you for background image. You can use the image from your ad, but for now I've not uploaded any image. So let me just upload this image from my ad. So let me say this is the image I want to use as background image. Now it's uploading. It's uploading. It's uploading. It's uploading. Now it's uploaded. So the next thing we'll do is to come to what greetings. Greetings. This is where you're telling them, okay, um, this is where you tell them, give them info on your what class. That is, okay, do free. Or you can do get access to my, okay, get access to my free. Get access to my free web design class. Then on this description, just give them a little description there. Do you want to, want do you want to be a bad ass web designer? Question mark. Then I urge you to join this class as you we will be learning learning how to design a website even if you are just a beginner. Yes, this is describing this to them. So you've added this headline, this um, headline and your words description. So you come to questions. Now, questions is where you are. This is what you, you are. <clears throat> Let's see on questions here. Now, we don't need any kind of questions. If you want to add question, you add question. But you don't need any kind of question. So you just here, you add description. Okay, let people know the information you give will be used to or shared okay you see this let people know how the information they give you will be used or shared now is here you assure them that every information mission giving hearing is safe and secured so you don't have anything to don't you don't have anything to fear you see this, so you don't have every information given here in is safe and secure, so you don't have anything to fear. And remember, on Facebook form, you are taking email, phone name, and what phone number. So you can click on this place. Then phone number should be is it in user information? Not is okay. Not user information. Contact field. 
phone number and most times i recommend you take their what country that is if you are running a targeting in different countries you can click on phone number and what's go back again add category contact field click on what's country so now at this stage yes this is good to go then they come to privacy privacy now you are driving them to whatsapp since you don't have a website don't forget that you are driving them to whatsapp since you don't have a website so i don't know the whatsapp use but i use whatsapp normal whatsapp so all you have to do is do what on this link let's go over to my whatsapp now and get okay i don't want to use my whatsapp business let's go over to my whatsapp when you're on your whatsapp click this six dot go to settings then come to what help and move over to what terms and privacy policy then on this privacy policy click on it come over here copy the link copy the link then this is it then you can come and and scroll up and copy any little text you see here okay let me say i want to copy this additional information on how we handle your data so you can copy down to this point anyone you want to copy you will see where we we'll paste it now so you can scroll let me go back to the tab where i did those things where i'm running my ads so now on this link this is my clipboard i paste that privacy policy link now I've pasted the privacy policy link and now they are telling you to paste the words link text so you can come over here and click what paste the words link text so on this Facebook will select only the first 70 70 words so anyway stop just let's delete it down to this full stop then customer custom disclaimer you can set disclaimer there you can add additional notices like my door, but I don't I don't recommend you do that but if you want to go extra miles to doing that you can do that so at, at this point then you can finish then come over to completion completion now this headline it will tell you thanks for filling out those details can delete this thanks for filling out those details whatever i want to use those details then on the description you can add congratulations on getting to this oh what's this what's this okay no i don't close lead form congratulations on getting to this step step full stop kindly do what click on the button below to get more info on our whatsapp you are driving them to whatsapp whatever i want to use i use then call to action just leave it at what view websites then call to action text now call to action text is what is here view websites you can come over and say okay don't mind you know i don't this is we are running this ads with mobile so it's going to hang a little bit okay so now call to action text don't use view websites please instead of that use click here to get access to the class or whatever if it's a webinar you are holding you do that click here to get access to the class then here is going to be your what whatsapp link so now let me show you how to generate a whatsapp link very fast on new tab go to what what dot me what dot link what dot link so now i scroll down on this phone number i add if you are nigerian you can choose your country code or if you're not you come over here and pick whatever country you belong to pick anyone but i'm nigerian so i come over here no need for no need for what um country code again so just remove the first digit don't start with 070 now because of the presence of your plus 234 just start with the second digit of your phone number so this is my phone number i teach web design so this is my phone number you know so the custom message this custom message now once they click that call to action button they will land on your whatsapp and it's going to display something like hi now you know when you want to board in something must add this aesthetic slick concepts i am interested in your web design or whatever you have to offer them 
class full stop my name go back my name is you can do use dash 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 my name is dash so now this is the customized link highest concepts i am interested in your web design class my name is dash you can then scroll up and click on generate my wall link my wall dot link so now your link has been generated scroll up now and click on copy link now you must make sure that your number there is correct if not they will not be able to redirect to your whatsapp so i go back to the tab i am doing my facebook ads and i, I then come over to this link and never not to close your lead form i then come over to this link and do what paste it there paste that my wall link there so now you are done it's not something that will take you time you are done so form name you and sure to use the name that you can use and remember your form in case you want to maybe build another website again in case you want to build whatever it is in case you want to run another ads and still use the same form so you can just use the free web design classes name of our form so i come i'm done you see the call to action button click here to get access to the class this is how the is going to look like thanks for filling out those details congratulations on getting to this step kindly click the button below to get more info on our whatsapp now you are done what do you do you publish you publish your leads form you publish it if you look over here you see it your form has been added so now you will see your form here now i've created three forms before you will see it and the date you created it so once you have fill out your primary text your media and whatever it is that you have here all you have to do now is to come and select that form that you just created select that form that you just created which is this and once you select that form that you've just created you must have maybe finished setting up your words ads from the campaign level down to the ads level and you've selected that form so all you have to do now is to do what hit on what publish as soon as you hit on publish you are done you are done creating your words list form as easy as that facebook will start optimizing it and you will spend lesser on what using facebook list form than you will spend when you are using websites because facebook finds it easier tracking everybody that visits your lead form because it is happening on facebook but when you are taking them out of facebook facebook does what finds it okay it becomes more technical to do so so guys this is it this is how to create your website using or how to sorry how to run a facebook ads using the facebook instant form so now we just taught you how to do what create the facebook instant form so guys thank you very much for watching up to this point um kindly what hit the subscribe button like this video and share it i will be dropping more updates about this in subsequent times so guys do have a wonderful day remember to subscribe i love you